Let's have a look at some business news for you. Asian shares, where they were mostly high, in fact, uh, right across the board that we're about to bring up, they are higher, buoyed by uh, further signs of recovery in China's manufacturing sector. A survey showing domestic demand there is holding up. We're having problems bringing you that. There we go. There's the Asian market. Is, uh, as I said, as I promised you, they are uh, up right across the board. Let's flip and have a look at the markets in Europe now to see if that is uh, feeding through. I can tell you it is uh, on the Cat Current there in Paris and the DAX uh, 30 in Frankfurt rises there, but a slight drop on the FTSE in London. Now, all this uh, comes, of course, as the world continues to reel from coronavirus. Here in France, the government's still trying to find out a real balance between keeping the economy running and stopping the spread of the virus. It looks like they're having a, a rather tough time of it. We're starting new restrictions on some of France's largest retail chains as the country's second lockdown enters its first full week. And Brian Quinn from our business desk joins us now. Brian, just first of all, tell us what the latest here, because there's been a, a bit of a climb down, to be honest, hasn't there, from the government? Well, Stuart, this lockdown differs from the last one in that a lot of businesses like factories and construction projects have been allowed to continue operations. However, in theory, at least, only essential retailers like grocery stores and pharmacies are allowed to remain open. Uh, the issue comes from the fact that many of the country's largest grocery chains, in fact, have vast store locations with plenty of non-grocery sections. You can imagine a giant Carrefour hypermarket where you can buy a TV, books, toys, things like that. Well, what the Prime Minister of France said last night is that those large retailers now have to stop selling non-essential items out of fairness to smaller shops that have been required to close their doors. Now, that decision comes after dozens of municipal leaders have demanded the national government do more to help French small businesses, especially bookshops, in fact, there's been some real pushback on closures during this lockdown. Mayors of Bordeaux, Nice, and Paris have all issued some special orders uh, that allow some shops to remain open. And big retailers, though, are not any happier with this latest uh, decision. Their main trade group uh, says it's incomprehensible, says it has no health justification and will only make uh, French people's lives harder. Uh, so roughly around 200,000 uh, French businesses have been forced to close for this lockdown. And the latest back and forth is basically a question of fairness. Who is allowed to stay open? It's a very tough question for the government. Uh, they're trying to keep the economy running as much as possible while still ensuring this lockdown actually has the desired effect of keeping people home and curbing the spread of the virus. And of course, Brian, plenty of observers as well, noting that the real beneficiary of all these uh, policies stand to be that uh, long-running uh, long uh, bugbear of the French retail sector. Of course, I'm talking about Amazon here. That's right, Stuart. Uh, the French Council of Shopping Centers, in fact, is calling international e-commerce giants, uh, specifically like Amazon, predators who prosper while paying uh, almost no taxes, uh, destroying jobs and polluting cities. Uh, in fact, uh, French economy minister Bruno Le Maire took a fairly similar tone on Sunday, saying Amazon must not be the big winner of this crisis. Uh, Le Maire wants the government to put around 100 million euros towards accelerating the move to e-commerce for French small retailers. Uh, he wants at least half of French local shops to have an online shopping presence by the end of the pandemic. There has been a big push in recent days here to boost what's known as click to collect. That's where customers can order goods from their local shop and set up an appointment time to pick up those goods. That's been a lifeline for some businesses, probably not enough of one, though. The latest data from bookshops shows click to collect is bringing in only about 10 percent of their normal sales. Uh, Amazon, on the other hand, going gangbusters. Its third quarter results showed a 37 percent jump in sales. Uh, Amazon is a huge presence in French e-commerce. It has about 22 percent of the national market as of last year. Uh, the company is showing some recognition for the hardships that French retailers are enduring. That, though, does come after some significant pressure from the government. Uh, on Saturday, Amazon said it would be halting advertising for pre-Black Friday sales in France. Uh, that, again, though, not enough for the French Retail Federation. Uh, they're calling for an immediate ban on all Black Friday sales during this lockdown. Brian, thanks very much. Brian Quinn, uh, working from home there from our business desk. Thanks very much.